What is up, F it Outdoors? It's Friday the 4th. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. My uh, son's got a baseball tournament this weekend. So fishing opportunities are going to be limited for me. Uh, I got fortunate enough to not have any of my kids having anything to do this evening. So I got off work and I ran out to my dad's. Now I'm gonna pan around here. You can see behind me, there is a thunderhead right there. Moving from west to east. And what I'm hoping is, is I'm hoping that looking back here behind me here, where the wind, where the storm's coming from, that it's just barely gonna miss me. It's been humid. It's been super windy today. It's been uh, 80 degrees at least two or three times this week. Um, I fished just a little bit yesterday before my son's baseball game at home and um, at that little pond by my house. And I caught a couple little dinks, but the fish felt warm. So the water temperature's definitely up. Uh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I might have to hide in my truck for a minute. But um, my goal is to obviously shoot a video. But my goal is, is when I was in my early 20s, I caught a fish in here that was about 26 inches. And um, I released it here. So as far as I know, that fish still should be here or there still should be some fish that size. What I'm hoping is, is that this weather change and the temperature got them big ones moving up into the shallows and my goal is to catch a a big bass i mean i'm that's always the goal is to catch a big one but i mean usually when i come out here it's it's almost a guarantee that you're going to catch a couple two pounders but i'm looking for that big mondo so i'm gonna throw the jig spinner bait um i actually got a salamander tied on texas rig all starting to rain pretty good i'm gonna jump in the truck as soon as it quits raining I'm going to get after it, so stick with us. Here we go. All right, so the rain quit. It didn't even rain for four minutes. Let me get this adjusted here. As you can see, that storm went right around here. Temperature dropped probably at least five degrees. Uh, the air pressure is definitely different. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna walk around here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this this rage tail salamander by this brush right here. And if I can if I can catch one right here on this, I might do a little quick lap. Figured if the lizard was going to be the hot ticket, one would have bit it by now. fish
Not a bad fish at all. go to that other bank because my camera lens is going to start getting all wet I don't want it to F up my footage Can't tell me you didn't want that. Huh? He almost got hooked in his freaking eyeball. The ones we're looking for is just a little bit bigger than that. fishing that's different than the way I fish it in the winter right now I'm just got bit right now I'm hopping it I want it to come off the bottom about three or four inches go right back down so I'm hopping and shaking it's where in the winter time it's just a slow drag Now that's a 3 8 ounce cranked uh, I think it's green pumpkin they got abnormal names for their colors but I think it's green pumpkin green something green black specks with a um, starting to become my favorite crawl trailer that is the uh, Ketchco saw crawl in the Texas crawl color. There's a the fish. I knew that was gonna be a fish. little acrobat here he's still trying to shake it damn old shaky with shakers and... mm. yeah. he won't forget that he just got his mouth ripped nice little pounder dude Trying to help you back in the water there, buddy. He crushed it.
Oh, that's a good one. That's a lot bigger fish. Oh, snapping turtle. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> On a freaking jig? I don't even know how I'm gonna get that jig back. Come on, dude, don't break me off. Come on, dude. Well, that jig is probably a goner. He's trying to hook his feet in the ground. I'm trying not to let him. Yeah, get back out there in the water so I can sling you up here on the bank. Well, I've caught snapping turtles catfishing before, but I ain't ever caught one bass fishing before. I can tell you that. truck where I got some plot so what I'm gonna try to do is get him on his back again I need to try to figure out which way that hook is going damn he engulfed it He don't know what the fuck just happened. He just knows he is not fucking happy. I'll be honest with you, I ain't happy either. You just messed up one of my favorite jigs, you, you dick. You're all right, get in the water. Seem to just cut my crawl dad in half. Well, that was exciting. You guys think snapping turtles ain't no joke? Go on, dude. Oh, 
watch how easy he disappears. Did you see that? All right. Well, that got the old blood pumping. Definitely gonna have to retie. I'm glad I got the jig back. It's got most of the skirt left. But that was crazy. That was crazy. I have no idea what I did with my pliers. Here they are. Yeah, I've caught snapping turtles. Bluegill fishing, crappie fishing, cat fishing. I've caught soft shell turtles. Bass, bass fishing before. But I ain't ever caught a, a snapping turtle on a freaking jig. That was just ridiculous. So, I'm not gonna lie to you folks. I thought I just hooked the Mac Daddy. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised that snapping turtles eat crawdads. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't they eat crawdads? But that's the first. And I got my jig back. Crank fishing. That makes some some pretty quality stuff. Good fish. Good fish. Look how pretty that fish is. It's a pretty fish. Jesus, big old bullfrog scared the shit out of me. Hey, look at them crawl that hole there. Three of them right there. Boom, boom. No doubt about it, they like to crawl dads here. Apologize for the wind. It always sucks in this corner.
I got the best that time. Is that another snapping turtle? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. Sweet. So, that's what kept hitting me. Damn snapping turtles. Huh. There's a fish. Just gotta get through the the snapping turtles first. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap up today's show. I um, had a very successful evening as far as numbers go. I still didn't get that big bite. I don't know what's. I don't know if I'm just a hair early or what. But like I said, I still haven't seen. I haven't seen any nest yet. I don't know when them females are gonna start start moving up, start getting into the shallows, or if there's even a big one in here, I don't know. I just wanted to fish somewhere else. And um, so the, the hot ticket today was the cranked hot sauce jig with the I used the Texas crawl, saw crawl, Texas crawl for a while until I ran out of those and I switched to a green pumpkin rage crawl. Caught them just as well on it. Uh, very strange chain of events when it comes to catching them two snapping turtles. I don't, I don't even know what to think about that. That was crazy. Um, do me a favor, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate all your support. <clears throat> Make sure you go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at F It Outdoors. Uh, should be getting a mystery tackle box in the mail soon. So be looking for that. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you get those, those notifications when I post the videos. And uh, just, just bear with me. I'm going to keep pumping these videos out. Hopefully... We can start getting some sight fishing going on and stuff like that. I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, like always, when you can, say F it, get outdoors. Guaranteed it'll be a lot better than sitting inside doing nothing. See ya.